Hello, bad boys. If you want to win a $50 Amazon gift card, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to enter our giveaway. MMA has had an elevating graph of viewership and fans all over the world for the last two decades. The UFC is the leading MMA organization that has held the mixed martial arts community to such a high level. And the credit goes to the president of UFC, Dana White. He quickly grew the company to become a multi-billion dollar business. And of course, the boss who runs this behemoth business must be ridiculously rich. Dana's net worth, as of the year 2020, is estimated to be around $500 million. With such a massive bank account, money really doesn't seem to be an issue for him anymore. Dana also doesn't shy away from flaunting his exotic stuff and luxurious lifestyle. Let's have a look at the 10 most expensive things owned by Dana White. One, bikes. Dana White is a big fan of the world's most exotic bikes. Harley Davidson is a proud sponsor of the UFC and they have always taken care of Dana's love for motorcycles. Dana has also revealed his secret affection for legendary bikes on his reality TV show, Dana White Looking for a Fight, while riding on one in all of its glory. The Harley featured in the show was a gift from Harley Davidson in 2014 with a UFC logo on the side, and it is valued at around $26,000. Dana also has a stunning Ducati bike and a MV Augusta F4, which costs around $30,000. Love the chopper style. And I love the detail. This guy's got bad mofo. It's hilarious. The seats are cool. I love the big fat back tire. Bad mofo. Bad mofo. It suits you. Two, legendary guitars. It seems that other than booking fights, Dana also has something of a passion for music. He has a number of famous bass guitars in his axe collection, including two which are from Flea of the Red Hot Chili Peppers and another one that belonged to the bassist of the Beastie Boys. Being part owners of UFC, Flea was happy to hand over his precious guitar with his signature on it to Dana. Maybe Dana wants to be ready for performing next time they meet up with the band along the way. The two bass guitars are Flea's from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and they're spun by Damien Hirst, the artist. You turn it around, Flea did all of this. Wow. Have you ever seen them live? million times. Three, a saber-tooth tiger skull. Rich people often own and try flaunting their exotic pets, like tigers and lions. However, Dana has something even more incredible in his lavish office. He has a complete skull of a saber-tooth tiger, a luxury item bought by Dana from a Dallas museum in 2009. The fossil costs around $160,000 and is definitely an extremely rare novelty. This saber-toothed skull is one of Dana's most precious possessions, and he has no plans to sell it. I put it in the last bid, and I thought I didn't get it, but I ended up getting it. And it's like, I'll never sell that. I'll, no, it's amazing. I'll have yeah. that till I die, so. Yeah. Four, Samurai Sword. Dana White is a prominent collector of historical objects and curiosities. He is a great fan of Japanese culture and tradition, which he shows with his two samurai swords, presented with pride in his office. These swords are originally from the early 1500s and 1600s. To preserve the respect towards its original owner, Dana also had a statue of the samurai that carried those ruthless weapons in all his immortalized glory. Dana White has also expressed his feelings to have his own weapon room when he visited the TV show Pawn Stars. I'm building this weapons room in my house and what I'm really looking for today is the sword. Show me something good. Do you have any samurai swords in your collection? I have some swords, but no real ones. Five, AK-47 rifle. Dana has plenty of things in his office, which he could display on a weekend exhibition. However, it's an AK-47 rifle covered in dollar bills that sits honorably in a glass case, which represents everything Dana has ever fought for. It is not just an ordinary rifle though, but a real piece of art in and of itself. Having see-through bullet clip materials, including oil, cocaine, gold, blood, diamonds, seeds to make heroin, and religious symbols. Dana received the rifle from famous conceptual artist and photographer, Brand Simonson. Along with the AK, there is also a grenade accompanying it in its display. 
This is incredible. This represents war. War is obviously about killing with the knife and the gun. War is all about money. And then the clip are all the things we kill for. Six, the Yakuza painting. Dana's office is decorated with several iconic pictures of boxing legends like Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali, which symbolize power. However, the most important piece is an original Japanese painting, which dominates the wall. A friend of Dana once revealed he had a gift for him. However, he needed $200,000 in order to hand it over. Dana, without any second thought, sent the check over. The painting arrived, but after having a look, it was so graphic he had to put it into storage. It was after a few months that Dana learned that he had put a $1.2 million painting in storage when an art dealer asked him what he had done with his original Iraqi Yakuza. That is a real Yakuza, Japanese mafia. And the tattoos tell the story of what family he's from. And that's his girlfriend. And uh, he goes, that picture is worth $1.2 million. Seven, love for Ferraris. In deep love with speed, Dana likes his cars to be just as worthy as his expensive bikes. Ferrari was the dream car for every child for ages. And with intentions to acquire his own, Dana vowed to such a car when he became rich. Fulfilling his dream, Dana treated himself to a classic red Ferrari Testarossa, made famous by Tom Selleck in Magnum P.I., which cost a staggering $240,000 when it was first released in 1989. Dana also added a black Ferrari Spider F430 to his Ferrari collection that cost $280,000 with a 4.3 LV8 engine capable of powering the F430 from zero to six miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds. New seats, new interior, which is sacrilegious. You're not supposed to do that to a Ferrari, but that is was good. So we're gonna go sit in Dana's Ferrari, that's okay? Yeah. Look at this, huh? This is Dana White's Ferrari, and there is cold. Yeah. Are the keys in it? Don't start. Eight, car collection. When it comes to luxurious cars, Dana is a mad follower who has a bunch of them. In addition to his previously mentioned Ferraris, Dana also has a muscle car, as would any proud American. He was offered a 1971 Plymouth Barracuda on the US reality TV show Muscle Car. In terms of luxury rides, Dana's priority is a BMW M6 Grand Coupe, which cost around $150,000. Khabib Nurmagomedov once gave it a makeover by adding a fur hat to its bonnet. However, he bought the same one months later due to its stunning looks. Dana has also gifted his son, Dana Jr., with a limited edition Defender and a BMW M6. Nine, private jet. When you are the president of a multi-billion dollar company, you will almost always opt to fly privately. Dana takes care of his prestige and always travels via his luxurious private jet for business. Normally ranging from $10 million to $100 million, a private jet is the ultimate ride for the boss. You may have had a look at Dana's jet when he invited legendary boxer Mike Tyson on board, which seemed like a fine idea. But when Mike is on board, you are no longer the boss, and thus the pair got into hilarious pranks that went viral. 10. Fully Equipped Gym the UFC has a prominent performance institute situated in Las Vegas for the fighters to get their elite level training. However, Dana is happy to have his own fully equipped gym with all the possible equipment that you could ever need to stay fit. The gym is stuffed with dumbbells, barbells, medicine balls, treadmills, and many advanced training equipment all over the place. However, the most eye-catching part are the quotes from Dana's childhood heroes, which are emblazoned on almost every wall. The gym is plastered with famous phrases from the likes of Muhammad Ali, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Lee, and Mike Tyson. From having his own specialized war room where the fights are made, to the control room where the boss can keep an eye on every UFC event, Dana has built his office into his own personal headquarters. Dana has got the charisma to take over a failing business to turning it into the hottest MMA tycoon. He has proved his capability by taking the UFC to insane new heights. And with all that booming business, no wonder Dana is also trained to get a share of luxury and prosperity in his life.